Hi, keep running. I just want to talk about two specific components for this problem. So the client wants to have, um, wants to pay 20,000 at the beginning of the year um, for the college room and board. So that's problem number one. And problem number two is how much the client should save over the first 17, for the first 17 payment. So let's just break it down. So how much is the, what is the present value at this point? Very important things. The first thing we have to check is um, um, the client is paying at the beginning. The keyword is beginning of the year, right? So we set the BA2 plus. I don't know which um, financial calculator you'll be using on, on the CFA exam, but make sure that you know how to use um, the annuity um, uh, functions on, on your calculator because that is the most important things for a fix, either, either fixed income or um, quantitative finance proportion uh, portion of the exam um, you have you don't really really need to memorize all the annuity formula or the present value formula because this is all this can be all done on the BA2 plus this is very very important so so we're told that uh, so okay so let's set the, the function to beginning of the year so on BA2 plus that's how you do it second beginning so right now it's at N so we set it at the beginning by pressing second enter okay so now is the beginning and you can see there's a um, indication that it's BGN on top okay so the payment is 20,000 future value is zero um, interest rate is five and there's four period and then the present value will be 74464 dollars okay so there is total of 17 payment so if you take a look at this carefully take a look at this timeline so make sure that you draw a timeline every time you encounter this kind of a problem so it's one two three four five six seven so payment 17 is actually right here okay and this is the future value future value for the second part of the problem but the first part of the problem, the present value, we have a, we have seventy four thousand at this point. So we need to discount back one extra period in order to plug in the future value for the second annuity problem. So basically, that's pretty basic, right? That's just this number divided by one point zero five. So this is the future value. Okay. That you plug into the second part of the problem, which is another annuity problem. So, but this time, since that he's the client is making the payment at um, the end of the year, so we set the annuity function back to the end of period. Okay, so this time the future value we wanted to be at seventy thousand nine one nine. So that's the future value. Interest rate is five percent. Um, number of periods 17 person value is zero uh, we're trying to get the payment so the answer is 2744 okay on the answer uh, on the actual answer on the actual answer um, choices or is it seven two seven four five you're just gonna say oh the closest answer so that's how you tackle the problem so as you can see first of all make sure that um, you draw a timeline and number two is to find out, okay, what is the present value and the future value at the particular points that you're calculating. And if you break down the problem into um, this kind of discrete uh, two distinct problem, the problem set, then all you need is just to know is um, making sure that you know how to use the BA2 plus calculator. And hopefully this helps. And again, make sure that you know how to use the annuity function um, on your calculator, it doesn't matter if it's B2 or um, any other um, HP calculator that you're using. Um, hopefully, this helps.